seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer red. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. Red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions! Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Running through these veins pretty quick. Don't socialize too much. You waste time, they'll take it out of your hide later. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon?
Hella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Process? Uh, not if you consider a slightly gravity reading a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Climb up the way. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Constellation contact is Whoa, on approach. Oh, you don't look good. Wait, the Explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe... Some coffee or something? Got a packet around here somewhere. Hell are putting that first aid seminar to work it's on been you. Been a huh? good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. You got a few more digs to go. Trying to get through my shift. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Time. 
Yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? All right. A little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? That was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Hey, um, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? 
Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Now that we've been attacked... Oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the Lodge! No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer, with your help. They're just following the loot, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light and music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Scuffs before. We're lucky. Lost plenty of friends. Attack. Better not be coming out of our pay. Fine vessel 
rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates.
Alien creatures are often unpredictable.
Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I will happily. Barrett would say that billions of years, but the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two without. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Mem the membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility.
longer a viable option.
enemy has dropped out of our view.
safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digipics and a disregard for personal property rights. Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. After Barrett, or after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, 
desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. Nobody wants that. ship for nothing get out of here take your robot and your ship and get out of here i see you all again you're dead we should now be free to travel to constellations headquarters without crimson fleet interference and I am ready to commence. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature for all too long.
Starship Frontier. This is United Colonies Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. New captain, my crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I would try to view port. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. I'm sure you can find something you like. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.
installation will be wait. I am really. Some work done? Hey, I'm kind of breaking my concentration here. You should see some of the shoes we just had in here. Like their owner. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? No, uh, thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. No soliciting. Do I need to call security? Sergeant, something to report.
This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. This is bet I'll ever win. You really? We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. 
with less embellishment. Damn. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, right, that. If we were approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Oh, gosh, no. I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. 
There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on. And every... We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Great, let's see what you have. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy!
service captain so are you ready to get to work not much but you've seen them for yourself it doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary just what that is we'll have to figure out it's what we do I don't know what you've heard but I can imagine first of all I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Until later. We're just at the beginning. We're explorers. Humanity. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I understand. Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. Okay. We're just at the beginning. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. 
They're looking for places to settle. Resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? So, Noel, Constellation living up to your expectations? Yes, ma'am, of course. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean.
dodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. been having brown on us all the time. Masked finally sends someone down there, but nothing's changed. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Yes? You needed something? Most of Mast's employees have extensive training in their specific areas of expertise. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. This? This is Mast, the beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside the... I'm one of Mast's resource officers. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly, and that any rule-breaking is dealt with swiftly. The Vanguard should be able to provide you with work going forward. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. Another day?
liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the artist was trying to... Back again. Are you interested in the job, by any chance? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience at all? Oh yeah? And I'm the CEO of Galbank. Look, I can appreciate a wise ass, but if I catch you lying for real... Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relation. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. You know, Mast, uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Let me know if you have any questions. Contrary to what you might have heard, UC security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be my friend. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft. Talk to John Tuala in Mast.
Reliant? It is surprising how many people need to be reminded to go in for regular medical checkups, even when they don't have to pay for them. It is my pleasure to attempt to steer this lumbering bureaucracy towards doing something useful for its citizens, keeping them healthy. My background's in medicine, but I like to think I've graduated from helping one patient at a time to, well, all of them at once. I really do. No group has done more for humanity than the United Colonies, and it is gratifying to be a part of that. Keeping our citizens in good health is vital to our continued success. You're always welcome to stop by. Yes? to see you again. May I help you? It's home. It doesn't matter how long I've been away, that will never change. Now, this lab will take some getting used to. Sometimes I go looking for the bathroom and end up in the storage closet. Yeah, it's nice being in a lab again, and the facilities here at Mast are the best in the galaxy. The only thing I don't have is my research slate. <sighs> The thought of having to start over from scratch, well, I feel like, like Sisyphus pushing his boulder up the hill. Xenobiological stuff on the flora we grew in the facility. We made regular jumps to masts, so thankfully I don't need all of it, just my most recent notes. Have you ever lost a document because you forgot to save? It takes twice the metal energy to rewrite it. Now, you remember the basic idea, but there's no inspiration behind it. You're... You're trying to pick up a memory that you told yourself was safe to forget. Oh, great. I'll give you the coordinates to the station. It orbits Voss in the Alpha Centauri system, so it won't be too far of a jump. Just be careful. I don't know if those zealots are still there. If they are, definitely do not engage. The short answer is xenobiology, but I get that that's a pretty broad category. <laughs> My specialty is alien flora, but as a lead, I've managed pretty much every department on... Maybe now that I'm here, I'll go back to my roots, so to speak. Goodbye. On the cutting edge of technology here. It's like there are so many different groups across. The we didn't get where we are by sitting. <sighs> he just needs what? Oh boy, that was approved. Helps to remember that. Just how I like it. 
I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Eden. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it, and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Good luck with the mission. Hello. Yes, what? Does he still have questions? Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Oh yeah. Once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. He knew every rule, every procedure, and on top of that was a pinpoint marksman. But he lacked exactly what you are talking about. Initiative. He ended up transferring to a desk job after a year. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know.
wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Hey, if life were simple, it'd be boring, right? I do hope you are enjoying your time in your business. There is simply no parallel to the food you will find here. Why? My pleasure. The Dawn's Roost represents the highest quality, from the ingredients to the decor. No expense is spared. Anyone who has sampled our offerings will assure you it is all worth it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If the bartender has a mystery drink for you to try, don't. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Come again? Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? Uh, My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Hey, if I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Salsa. I told you, my left feet have left feet. The activity would do you good. But dancing, I mean, couldn't we, I don't know, do... Oh, yes, anything. All right, dancing it is, but something beginner-friendly, like fit for a toddler.
constellation sounds magical. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. I knew it. You had that spring in your step. A mother knows. I won't press, dear. Don't worry. Hmm. Interesting. Something you want to discuss later, perhaps? I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Her father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. It's nice to have time to do both, though. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so full of culture and life. Talking Where's with you has paper? made my day. I knew I'm where it was. Serious. Top shelf of the pantry. But it's not there anymore. Regina, How do you expect the me president to know of anything is if you keep well, moving. She's making all the me time. redo the whole report from scratch because she gave me the wrong information. I know. I swear next election I'm stepping down. to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That way. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. You're in the right place. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything a new drink that'll make this place famous galaxy wide you would love it i guarantee only i can't make you one right now don't have the ingredients i made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient i think will make all the difference but it never showed up turns out the guy i hired was also hired by a few other folks the kind of folks who ship 
less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising. Yeah. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I try. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. Catch you later. Hi, how are you? <laughs> not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this, too. Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? Mm -hmm. And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. And you got that right. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again.
Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I can really use the work to pay off some debts. Anyone can shoot at targets, but I take them out. You're not gonna find a better shot anywhere else. So, are we making a deal or what? The kind that need to be paid off quickly, or else I'm in big trouble. And if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to keep the details of that to myself. Unless you're... I'm not asking for that much. Just my fair... You're asking me to work for less than the going rate? Why would I do that? I hear you. I don't get it. Hold on. I never said that was my final offer. Well, I guess something's better than nothing. I'll cut my price, but I'm not going any lower. Damn. He picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Cheers. Nothing like a cold one after a long trip through the space lanes, if you ask me. It seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mass. Oh, yeah. Plenty of us. There's a whole branch of Mass scientific wing called DRIP. That's dedicated to developing new weapons for the UC military. <laughs> no, I'm not. I figure if I hung around long enough, I'd run into... Do I need a shower or something? Okay. Hello. Pardon. Oh, not this again, Nessa. I'm fine. I really am. I'm just saying. None of those rocks you spend time digging up are going to keep you warm at night. I'm just looking out for you. I, I, I'm, I'm warm enough, but thank you. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey. Pleasant change of scenery. It's you and me from here out. No, it's fine. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. 
By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grav jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Certainly. Want to see what I'm carrying? Time to go? to get this ship moving.
pay rates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face, and then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing except my ghost, because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about, what, another week? So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? Anything I can...
I help you with? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Sure, how about it?
communications system critical. Hail terminated. My contact is in glad to haul whatever you Goodbye. We need to talk to John Tuala. Let's see what you've got. Bye for now.
It's you and me from here. I'd be happy to get... So long. You're ready.
My contact is in Vanguard. I'll only carry the... Bring me anything useful?
might as well take what we can.
find anything useful. difference between being prepared and carrying too much.
crew accounted for. We are ready to depart.
can I do for you? You should inspect your ship for heat leak. Okay, no problem. This really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There is something I can help you with? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. Is there a reason you're asking? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or...? Yeah... I can't really just let you in there. I mean, it might be okay. Don't get ahead of yourself. <sighs> I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I tried it, me? All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. If anyone asks, Nothing to do with this. You got it? One second. 
All right, make it quick. Life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila's city that weren't totally critical, but come on, have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Stop by anytime you like. By the way, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Apparently, he's got some work. The things we do here, the tech we develop, benefits all of humanity. I'll take test to... Well, will you look at that? Huh. And it seems to be in working condition. So you see? Even when tragedy strikes, there's people like you to help pick up the pieces. 
<sighs> it makes me feel good about where we're going as a species. Of course, a good deed never goes unrewarded. And I've got just the... Here, I know credits are a lazy gift, but as a scientist, I think it's better to be practical. Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere. It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned after the colony war, the pirates used them as forward operating bases. All over. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you do. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. Stay as long as you like. And don't be a strange. Folks gotta look out for one another. That's why I started serving food all those years ago. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. Do you know why this place has stood? Stay. Folks gotta always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out and up and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things till down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because 
Not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while well, I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. We're no Reliant Medical down here, but if you've got credits, I might have something for you. Right? Not sure what you'd expect me to do. I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. What do you want? I'm very busy, as you can tell. You want food? Go to Case. You want an attitude? Try Jake's. You want to feel empty inside? <laughs> Get your bags and move in. Uh, seriously, though, this place is half doom and all gloom, which is precisely why I'm leaving. Where'd you grow up? A septic tank? It's about the only place worse than this dumb. I'm working on it. Taking the UC Vanguard exams. Saving up for my own ship. You know how it works. It's just taking a little longer than I expected. Yeah, but I ain't getting any younger. And every day in the well is like four days, tops up. I'm working on... It's just... Ten. Damn, hotshot. What are you doing down here, then? This is the last place... I See ya. Best watch your pockets around me. Just saying. Why do you want to know? You with security? You do have a bit of a rebellious air about you. But maybe that's exactly what you want me to think. Besides, I'm not gonna reveal my operation to some nobody who just waltzed up to me. Not yet, anyway. Are you kidding? Take a look around. You're in the most boring place in the galaxy. Only good thing down here is Kay's house. Best cooking in the settled systems. And let me tell you, I know my food. But I can't even go there anymore because Kay banned me for bad behavior. Me, can you believe that? What a load of crap! Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you either. In fact, I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right... Yeah, I, uh, well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other asshole's lights out. Uh, Doc says it'll take a few weeks or months to heal. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a rain check. But once my hand heals, you're done for. Oh, God, finally! I was getting bored! 
Jake's is a good place to keep contacts. He's got the right amount of boots. No lawyering, okay? I don't... Yep, you got it. Take care. It's a quaint shop. Don't mind me. Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time, but I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Hun, but if you do a small favor for me, I might feel comfortable opening my business up to you. All you need to do is pick up a package from Red Mile and deliver it to me. You don't even need to interact with any. Ah, I'm not at liberty to discuss that yet, but I assure you, it's quite lucrative. The contents are of no interest to you, and they're not contraband if that's what you're wondering. If you're uncomfortable doing this fate, fantastic. I. Maybe a little, but that's not such a. Better than all the noise and attention topside. Stay out of trouble. person. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to... We're trying to isolate a power drain which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks... Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, what I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Oh, wow, really? 
They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe the story you're told? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Easy money.
you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real thing on gabling. Like 200 years of Phil and Thems to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. wrong with a little bit of extra protection. Thank you? Because thank you. 
There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Maybe in the short term, but overall it paid off. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The Trade Authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is what... So thanks to you, we've got... I don't know if you ever dealt with it. I have to go in there, but I really... I don't know. Thanks. That, I can do the talking. done that before. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Have something for? Maybe another time. What? You'll be free to peruse my wares. Once you deliver the package. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. A visit from Mast. How delightful. You'll have to remind me of the main gear. I'm afraid I can't. 
can't keep track of all you little worker drones. I'm Luis Arias. But you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And was it you were accusing me of with absolute no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. I suppose you're here with her. I've got to see this. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, okay, just then I'm afraid you. you'll find nothing. I don't know if she's going to come out of there so, with a gun or what'll it be? all in mercenaries or what. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we're prepared to handle the situation. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid. Okay, your problem. Please let me know if I can assist you further. Of course, of course. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly you assist in getting to the dropping box. off a few choice items. No, you're not Talk to you of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Hey, I thought you were out there, you know, solving this. There are more important... You won't find a better...
You won't find a better selection. As I said, I have been aware of the issues with the power grid for a while now. I've been taking notes, and Miss Reyes will be able to verify their authenticity. But really, do you honestly believe I'd go to this effort if I were somehow responsible? Oh, I'm not. I thought I made that clear. Someone evidently decided it was a good idea to try and frame me for whatever is going on. I would very much like to know who that is, and why they thought they could get away with it. I admit I'm also quite curious to know what they're up to, aren't you? I'm quite eager to learn what you find. I thought the name made it rather obvious. We are the authority on trade in the settled system, whether it's bulk cargo, specialty items, or individual requests. We make sure things get where they need to go. We have shipping lanes across the settled systems and deal with nearly every major corporation and faction there is. We've been in New Atlantis for a very long time, before most things topside were built. With lots of infrastructure already in place, ample storage, and discreet access to the spaceport, it makes sense to stay. It's had the unintentional, but not unwelcome, side effect of weeding out people who can be... timid about doing business. That depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Check them out. I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit.
Reyes is still collecting the necessary diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation before she returns. I'm going to make you an offer. Whatever you find at the end of this path, you bring it to me first. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs, but I trade in valuable information. I suspect you're going to find some. I guarantee you the trade authority will pay well. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there. That last click is so satisfying, isn't it?
got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always lie. Kiosk right here. If you ask me, it's always a good time for a terror. Do you have something? I'm glad you made the right decision. I'll look this over and make sure that Mast gets just as much as they need. The Trade Authority will not forget what you... I trusted you. They may have had some success. Mm, this will make for some entertaining late night reading. Well, Miss Reyes, it's been such a pleasure having you here. I'll be sure and pass along my compliments to your superiors. I hope whatever that is, it's worthless to you. And you know, I'm still not sure you were behind. I was trying to be sincere. Well, in any event, thank you for a wonderful diversion from my usual work. I have three projects that are back burned right now because no one has time to help. If you want to buy something, I'm sure Amoli can assist you. I am busy right now. I'm afraid there are far too many other things to drink. Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look.
Thanks for coming in. Yes? Where to next? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save. enough to land. Wait. You're not suggesting. Ptolemy II. Terramorph heaven. So, I sat down, grabbed the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Boom. If that had actually happened, you wouldn't be standing here. No lie. Hell, you're welcome to go ask around the marine outposts I stumbled into. You're the only reason I'm still breathing. I <laughs> set foot on that death trap.
So much to see. So much to learn. Your poise. Your stature. Your comp... Ah. The usual things, I suppose. Fame. Fortune. Power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector, like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the settled systems. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. <laughs> Me? Uh, why, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes! I now need to collect artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old Earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? Hi there. The Welcome to Terrabrew. Okay. Thanks There's for choosing Terrabrew. What can I get you? Certainly. Yeah. Please take your in New Atlantis? Yes, and the sails in the fest didn't dip at all when the second star opened. Impressive. Times change. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? You look familiar. Where do I know you from? Oh, yes. Lynn mentioned hiring some brand new miner before she left for that job. I must have seen your picture in the contractor database. I take it this means the job's done then. So what can I help you? We just picked up several more contracts. Risky stuff. Think asteroid mining and uh... I book and process our job. We're a small company, so a lot of us administer. As a former contractor, I'm surprised you don't know. We take on jobs that others won't, whether they... And we always get the job done. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Those... We don't normally offer contractors the same benefits we offer full-time employees. Here, I'll compensate you for any medical treatment. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that. 
we'll be sure to send him a token of our sympathy, as well as a generous discount. Well, after I book a job, Lynn meets... She negotiates the terms of the contract and even supervises some of our more important work. That woman never stops in... Goodbye now. Sorry, I could use a little time to focus on my work. Welcome to Webster. If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the... Why wouldn't you? Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center, let us know. We're always striving to improve. Welcome to UC Distribution. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am... Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedules. I hope we have... Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Why, what is it? I'm wondering why you'd come looking for... Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it. Plus, a little extra. Let's... I could, but I did pay for it. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Suit yourself. You mean beside? It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United- Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Once... Yes, of course. Please. 
Well, pleasure doing back to it then. It's a privilege to be able to work for the UC government. Yeah. Service with a smile. Oh, that's not... You'll want to talk to Miss Seng. Of course, who wouldn't? It's such a privilege to be able to work for the UC government. Uh, Every day is so exciting. I get to meet... Yep, there's never a boring day. At... Oh, no, when I was growing... Lucky for me, working at the distribution center is... See ya. I need all of the biosensors if the data is to be of any use. I really do need that additional data. So you do. I'll just take these. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? There it is. Leaf. Now let's see. This is. Well, it's. Oh my. Well, there's good news and bad. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. These findings are...
buying? You better be buying. Yeah. First of all, second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bars? Worse, maybe? That's what you're implying? What are you? A structural engineer? Some mass egghead? I know full well what down here implies. Well, bye. Like a damn roach. I... Whatever. Thank you. Let's hope that Mast takes these files. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. The data from the biosensors... Crime has slowed down since you... Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Don's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Don's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more... Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated. Which is enough. Good. Report back here when the matter's... 
Uh, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to... Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. According to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he... A restaurant over in the residential... It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes. Let me know if you have any questions. I do hope you... there is simply no parallel to the food. Ah, uh, most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throat. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after you see. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Welcome to... Thanks for choosing Chunks. Great. What... Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade! And he threw it all away for that waiter! He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return! I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. I see. If this is official UC security business... Your title does not make you a bird. I am not being stubborn. I don't care if you're with UC security, I have... And as far as the ring goes, I, I don't know what the law says, but I doubt you'd... As soon as my assistant finishes packing my... He would say that! He gifted it to me when... We're not having this argument again. I'm furious. Not just dating. No. There are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you. And without love, what's the point? It was supposed to be a romantic dinner. 
our last before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us. Then I went off. He would say that. He gifted it to me when he proposed. I'm glad you could see reason. Hm. Maybe I'll leave it. Nice day for a picnic. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Ugh. Really? Without saying names, there are some people in this city who treat us like their personal security. But you know how it goes. Sometimes we protect, other times we serve. Here, take this. Another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services. Chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So... All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? 
I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You... Hey, Sarah's friend. Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got... Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile sh... Or you might be called up to help the science division clean up. And sometimes we just need cargo. Not every job's glamorous. Wherever the UC needs. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy. Welcome. 
spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
had sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to good showing in there, applicant. Your results should be final. Congratulations on passing. The simulator's still prepped if you'd like to try and get a better score. So these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, hit every mural in the orientation hall. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values high. Psychological results are all within expected level. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foe? Tier 4. Not too sh The techs make us test each level of the Sim 2. 
I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join. Ten years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Van. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your pro First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are... So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause... It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line. Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for... So, you ready to do the deed? You're not in the Freestar Collective here. Vanguard keeps its work above board. You want in? You have to do it the same as everyone else. Fantastic. be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the... That is where we serve. Beyond the furthest, do you swear to protect and to uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor. Then let me be the first. Now, only thing... And what I've got is... Comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So, can the people of Tau City 2... No major settlements on Tau City. No real active industry, either. Doesn't make for a big target. It's got the potential to be a pretty quiet... But there's a reason they wrote, here be dragons on the map edge. So if it were me, I'd hope for the best in And if for some reason you do run into trouble, don't forget, it's your job to protect them. So, you ready to That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. 
Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to... There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in... Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate, I am attempting to formulate one, yes. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues. <clears throat> Per, per, personnel issues, if you want. What? No, that is ridiculous. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my... He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far, he's refused. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more... Oh, thank you. At last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts. Uh... Perhaps it's best if you... I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Oh, it's important research. I won't bore you with the technical details, but it's critical that I get this... Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with... Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. Uh, he really won't let this go. Well, hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my... Okay, you know what? I'll hand... But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in... Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Wait, really? What? I'll follow your lead. But I wish handling our tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjust. I found a back door into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... <laughs> Sorry, that's not... There is, and I already explained exactly... Advancing my career From where I'm standing, kinda seems like it is. If that's true, seems like a good reason to hold on. Enough! The deal... Just get in, access her turn. Between you and me, as little as possible. I'm just kidding, of course. I work really, really hard at my job. Studied in company. These days, I just help out wherever I can. Waiting for a good opportunity.
hoping there was a good reason that was locked. Dad is right here, when you're done with your part. You have some good news for me? Oh, boo-hoo. I took a peek on the network, saw that things have updated. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to go on, not know. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later. Particularly in... And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure you... But you have once again come through for me. That is partly reassuring. It is, in fact, the exact opposite. Thank you for your assistance. Again, don't tell me how you... The data on this slate could... Bear. I need some time to verify this data. Make sure you know. to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. 
It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit, all probationary pilot. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any... My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they... Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Taos. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. What can I do for you? It's good to be back on board.
plenty. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settlement. systems. I wonder what happened here. Abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. <laughs> At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Feet.
Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. Well, at least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. What do we got here? They're too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. <laughs> Haven't brought the joke to your homeworld just yet, huh? But you see Vanguard's a hell of a lot better than what I've got. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories. But to see the decimation firsthand. Theramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among Apex Predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. <laughs> They're creatures without peer. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. 
But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant's security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. In a long time since I feel free to drop. Bye.
If you're searching them, make it quick. Sidonia is... If you have any gear... Talk to you later. restored. I'll make this quick. <laughs> it's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. <sighs> Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to become a vegetarian. I'm not sure what makes its home here, but we should keep our weapons at the ready. Thank you. 
Fuels insufficient. Proceed to next power breaker.
tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding. Wait, you did it, didn't you? Essence above, you just flatlined a terror morph. Oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on... Then, we could start getting some answers about this thing. So... Did you manage to nab one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get... you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, but terramorphs? To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. It's... So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be... Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. You're right. We don't have enough information. Time was I had access to one of the best repositories of terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get comp- Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan 
is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. I was, long time ago. That's all I'm asking. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet. And here, it's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost. Now, please go check in with your commander. I wish I had more information on Percival. Percival and I worked together for what he's doing working for an organization with other human beings like the other. But if there's anyone who will be able to. Courier handed me a slate. Guess someone had picked up a strange signal on a flyby. Thought I might want to check it out. Presumably the same person reported the disturbance to the Vanguard. Never did end up getting their name, though. Was my job to know all the nasty critters of the universe for a while. Terramorphs included. Don't do it, Professor.
anything interesting in range?
look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumph. From here, the three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colony. Be that through mutual defense, political, and... Di now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real. Understandable, most people would prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in con. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but under... A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? You killed a terramorph on your first mission. Uh, if I could be frank for a moment, above and beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But, uh, if none of the settlers made it. Hadrian. Hmm. Sanan. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... co-head of a UC Xenoweapons division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war. It was dismissed. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare, though... Well, we can at least be sure. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than you. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? I... This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official in here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Now, if there wasn't anything else...
I can help you with? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every... Okay, no problem.
course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You're cleared to land. Why you see Marines that get sent here, consider this posting a punishment. Explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Fine, get this done. We're on it, sir. Going to have to lug cargo across half the universe to pay for this cleaning. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. straight and narrow, and there won't be anything to worry about. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern... Well, it ain't drugs, if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the Red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. It used to be a sign someone was ready for the Red Devils. But some of the ex-Red Devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble? Well, I... Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence. But crime, we get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. As much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You. Don't let me keep you. Ever been to Aquila? Those security uniforms are way cooler than anything we've got. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level. Whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, 
But if there's something I can help you with... Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. But they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia security chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to... Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony. I fought to keep them operational here. But the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for it. All the goddamn... It's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again. But it'd take nothing short of them. It's small, it's dusty, it's old. It may not be anything fancy, but... I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Have yourself a good one. This hearing loss isn't permanent. Hey, good to see you. Can you believe people used to think that oh, you might hello there, friend. On the Have you been Mars? there long? Ridiculous, huh? Oh, good. I thought maybe I had fallen asleep. But, oh, Phil Hill at your service. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings are named Phil, Jill, and Syl. <laughs> but there I go again. You aren't here to talk about me. You're here to talk. Sounds like we're about to hear a sales pitch. <sighs> you know, silly. List. The League of Independent Settlers? Do I detect a glint of recognition in your eyes? How can I help make today your... Why, we help people. We get folks set up and able to start new lives and new places, free of governmental interference. We survey the stars, find suitable places matching people's needs, and get folks start. I don't suppose you have a ship? Interested in earning some e That's terrific, because I have a lot of work needing to. This stack of papers here, these are just the most recent applicants looking. Everywhere I go, people are really excited about the prospects of living a truly free life. Living where and how they... I've got a cargo hold full of stacks just like that. That's not our problem. Oh, of course not. I, I wouldn't make you do my paperwork for me. Although, I would... <laughs> not to worry. The mountains of paper... We're looking for folks with ships and or basic people skills to seek out suitable planets and leads on potential. I don't suppose you possess either of those qualifications. Huh, well, yeah, there, there's no obligation, but you might as well hear me out in case you find yourself out and about and want to make some easy credits. Most importantly, we need to collect data on habitable planets. The more habitable, the better. <laughs> you know, that oxygen and water are musts. Other signs of life, even better. Secondly, we're always looking for new applicants. So, as you travel around meeting people, when the occasion arises, see if you can interest them in signing up for the list. 
I'm pretty sure I overheard some people in here talking about wanting to start a new life. Why don't you start with them? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, but just know the offer stands in perpetuity. If you change your mind, come speak with me. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to get your ride back. Pardon? Hey there. Some serving drinks here for over 40 years. A few places can offer black things to move. Howdy. If you need a quiet spot All to think, the community center is a good place. someone you care about you might say that it's complicated learning to accept the truth of higher power is key understanding Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my... Oh, man. No, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free... <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Cool. That's what...
Sounds like a plan. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that, because... rumor. All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack-looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything good size too I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took him things like that but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did and I had to process the sale and store the thing <laughs> man what a pain in the ass that was even weirder someone came in and bought it like right away the hell's it? yeah let's go. come back anytime Take your time. Happy to help. Take a look. Yo, stay good out there. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Worked. Past tense. Dr. Walker hasn't been employed here for some time now. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological cons- Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for- I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. 
plenty of blood at this point. It's... Dr. Walker decided to start brewing and selling his own pharmaceuticals to our customers below cost. Something his contract expressly forbade. As such, we requested our cut of the profits and began garnishing his salary. Perhaps a little too severely, but well within legal limits. It was around then that he ran off. A ban... They were all devils. Red devils. A UC Marine unit based here on Mars, though they were disbanded shortly. I presume a number of them served alongside Dr. Walker. Bonds forged in battle. That's correct. We're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. He did leave his post, however, with a sizable debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the Trade Authority would be... Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? Why? I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest... So if you were able to find him and convince him to clear him... I couldn't have put that better myself. Hmm. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sedona... Caution. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremors. Detonation occurs in five, four, years ago, I malfunctioned, and have been in disrepair and unable to move. Repairs are too costly, and I am well past now. My primary function is that of an automated personal assistant. It would... I can make general announcements, and relay messages from one registered miner to another. All news and information has been supplied by employees of Deimos's mining operations. I also have been programmed with a limited selection of jokes, but I have been told to warn you, they are not good. Don't forget, this month's target goals have been increased by 5%. Failure to meet your new goal may result in termination of your current contract. Good thing you do not work here. Sorry, you must be an employee of Deimos Star Yards to access the messaging function, and you are not. No doom with this quake. A helpful reminder that subterranean particle fracking has resumed after its recent hiatus. Residents and workers alike are encouraged to heed the warning announcements and brace themselves for any turbulence when the blasts go off. Thankfully, you can rest easy knowing that detonations no longer occur at all hours of the night. Feel free to toss your alarm clocks, however, because they resume bright and early every morning. Why did the snowman need a moist toilet? Because his arms were... sticky. Then my instructions are to sit here, do nothing. Live where you work. Tired of commuting from distance to distance. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong... Andy, you, why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with you?
Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? That's so. Hmm. Now if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right. Maybe she did send you. Or maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, his debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival. And the... Well, the most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. Of course, rumor is the trade authority keeps all their records and collections. If someone was to break in there and adjust... Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. But, uh... One friend of Hadrian's to another. Sidonia is full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right and... Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear? Ooh, and you might need them. Red Devils were the meanest marine unit they couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian. Made us tough. That's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No, Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves. But it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended and the op Red Devils included. And I look forward to hearing. Hey, you! Maybe Adrian's friend. Come here. The Red face. Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, <laughs> no. I I mean, I've got my suspicions, but look, you're planning to help Percival. Yeah, sure, sure. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some... At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority con. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. It's mostly iron in about three centuries of human water runoff. Though only Percival would be able to tell you all the trace elements and what. But it builds up around human settlements, and something about the Martian soil changes it. it makes it into something new. And we think... No, no, no. Well, yes, but, but the medical kind. I'd help him make whatever the city was running low on that month, and we'd sell it to the miners for cheap. But the trade authority got wind and wanted their... Oh, I'm Cambridge. I was Percival's assistant. Well, apprentice, really. Uh, couldn't work in the mines anymore, so he gave me a job helping with some of his... No, his experiments, inside and out. And I know this one was gonna be... Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started... Oh, dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get... Jobs come back, I become a modern day.
Ugh, a bunch of parasites and cut. They're folks from the fringes of space, willing to put down anyone who tries to move in on what they've decided is theirs. Strange this group would pick Mars as a new home. My guess is the authority tipped them off when they heard we were working. Biggest employer on Mars has always been Demo Star Yards. After the colony, fewer ships meant fewer minerals. That meant a lot of folks scrounging for work around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them. Once you've managed that, phone up here. Please exercise caution. You felt the edge. Got a backlog. Stay clear, please. That outfit protect against lasers too.
that. Access stairs lead deeper into the mines. I hope we remember the way back to the surface. Sidonia, want to see what I'm carrying?
maybe another time.
Looks like we're in the clear. This will all lead. I'd be happy to go.
like on the inside. a bit of mineral wealth down here. Perhaps it would be worth our time to survey the area for more.
answers, huh? Good. Now to finish off the research, you're gonna need to collect a sample of hematite to run through the thresher. Grab a laser cutter and head back to the chamber where you came in. Once you've got a sample, thresher's the big machine in the next room. Passcode to start it is Aries 2330. Take care of all that, and we'll have Percival's name cleared in no time. enough clutter there or should we find some more?
not surprising, though. Mining lasers rendered these machines completely obsolete. If you're searching them, make it quick.
Sometimes I wish I had taken an easier job. Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. Must be a fun job, or else why would we keep getting so many applicants? It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't wait for the last time. Slate, let me reduce joint wear, oh, increase lifting capacity. A dose of this stuff could make a binder way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that, and that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches? Just, oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximize. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Yeah. Mm hmm Yes, what?
Sounds like a plan. Yo, stay good out there. Well, well. Look what the mark got something on your mind, love. Sure. Mission boards where you should go if you're looking for your... You'll tend to find them at local watering holes near spaceports, like the Broken Space... You bet your arse we do, love. You've got all these dusties crammed into this tin can of a city, scrambling to use their profit shares to pay. If they have a thin month in the mines, the credits are still due. So we're here to buy any... And I do mean everything, if you catch my meaning. Not that I'm admit... I'm in what you might call the Special Liaisons Department. When the TA needs to deal with... Um, let's call them organiz... I keep my own hours and the pay is good. So who the hell am I to come? Leaving already? I was just getting interested. Was there something else? I don't recall the exact... If you're feeling charitable... Hmm... I'm never one to turn away an opportunity, but I'd be curious what you... Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, and exactly what does this... An interesting pro But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of... Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool, and the sort of utility every mining firm in We could contract out all the actual lab work, bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials, and think what it would do for our image with the general populace this month. And what do you want for the rights?
Dr. Walker's dead? That's it? Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have... And here. A finder's fee from the author. Wouldn't want you feeling short -chained. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure. you now. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also gonna warn you about spaces down there. But... Yeah. The passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you. You should give that rest. Percival's going to be real glad to have that weight off his shoulders. You know, I believe we've got the best mining team ever assembled here. Welcome, welcome. I, I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Citizens are advised to take caution near the military didn't think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. Oh, I wasn't worried. Concerned, maybe. Because we haven't had any positions open for a while. And some friends of mine were turned away recently. I just want to make sure nothing funny was going on. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with Gnome. Our unofficial mascot. I fill that computer brain of his with all sorts of... Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always up. Yeah, Gnome's been down here forever. 
He's also been broken. No one's had the heart to junk him. But when I started, I gave him new purpose. I programmed, I modeled his responses after my own sarcastic sense of humor. It proved to be popular, so I did what any espan- Or, at least that's what they say. Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is, there's a cave out in the Martian waste with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits. But some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Maybe, just maybe. You could be the first to succeed, though. Because in Roman mythology, Mars was the god of war. His heart is cold, but tough like titanium. One of the miners started calling it that long ago, and the name stuck. Seems fitting enough. You seem pretty confident. Who knows, maybe you really will be the first. You'd certainly make history around here if you find it and leave. I'll share the coordinates of the cave with you. Remember to be wary out there. This is only my second contract, so I think I've been here for, what, uh, four years now. It's great. I love it here. I'm working on getting those red eyes that are all the rage these days, you know. You'll hear a lot of these other chumps complaining about Sidonia. They say it's boring or dangerous. Look, I come from an ice planet. These people have no idea what they're talking about. Sidonia is practically paradise compared to where I grew up. Why? I mean, who wouldn't want cool blood-red eyes? It's kind of a badge of honor thing around here. People know your hot stuff when you got red eyes. Also, it freaks people who don't know about them. Except for little kids. They always seem to think it's awesome. Either way, it... <laughs> Very funny. What? No, she seems to know what she's doing. I bet it would... He always acts like he's top dog. But we all know he couldn't mine his way out of a wet paper bag. Hmm, yes. I remember that about you. You must work for a rival company. Well, if you think I'm going to divulge straight... No, don't worry. I won't report you to management. We've all been there. But I'm not going to help. I like this job. I don't have any... Caution. Okay, Subterranean bye. particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure this article and find stable ground for the detonation in the event of an increase tremor. Detonation occurs in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to Sidonia. Stay on the Mars is ripe with resources, which means there's always going to be plenty of water.
Time to get this ship moving.
certainly hope there's no seismic activity while we're in this cave. Yes. 
Out here, you never know what'll hit you. Never hurts to be prepared. Sure does. He's a grumpy old lizard, so the name fits. But he's also... Besides selling you stuff, I'm just taking him on a little walk so he can stretch out his little... He don't do so well on the ship. He may have six eyes, but he's blonder than a bat in a rock concert. Anyway, as soon as he gets on board, he just starts running into things, bumping crates. He uses his tongue to navigate more than anything. Domesticated and docile, but that don't mean I can bring him just anywhere. There's laws against this sort of thing. Half of them don't make no sense, but there's still laws, and you'd be a fool. He was Ma's pet. She found him back when he was still yoking the egg. Saved him from poachers. Part. But Ma didn't stop there. She hatched him, fed him, and raised him from a wee little babe to the big, grumpy boy. When she passed, she left me two things. Her ship. So long as I have him by my side, I feel like she's right there. What about all this? Howdy. Looking to buy? Happy shopping. You fixing to buy anything? Got it. Right over here, friend. On some planets? Take your time.
funny. I bet I've spent more time exploring the Martian surface than roaming around Sidonia itself.
Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. times. Feel free to drop some stuff. Talk to you later.
accounted for. We are ready to depart.
to my supervisor. What? Hold on. You're telling me you actually found the Heart of Mars. It's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find. It's not supposed to actually exist. Yet, the only way this could happen is if... Damn it! If I gave you the wrong cave coordinates. Well, whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. have a sense <laughs> no she said the always act <laughs> I knew it listen I think he's self-conscious about his performance leaving already Appreciate the help, friend to wonder. It true that Pope Percival let Percival know. Friend to one. Pope Percival's got the answers you're looking for. You should give them. I'm just gonna wait until that drug's in production. I'm telling everyone Percival and I see. opportunity for people who... Hi, welcome to James. Sidonia's only 100... I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know. Sure thing. You have no... But unless you're some sort of merc... See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. Yes, of course! I mean, I don't have a lot, but it's worth it. I'll try to compensate you as best I can. The last signal I got from him... And try to bring them both back in... Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level, it doesn't mean it's not secure. 600 and 1800 local police. Pardon me. Hey! <laughs> huh. Must have missed it. Didn't see any moving boxes or anything. Anyway, if you're new and looking to me, name's Mitch. I'm just a guy who lives here in the Lux condos. I love having people to hang out with and watch movie. Potential employers, you say? <laughs> well, well, more accurately, I need someone with a ship to help me out with a favor, and I'm willing to pay. But if... It... Oh, you do? <laughs> I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragonstar Force, had a very... I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way up. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? 
Uh, don't worry, you'll get your... Mars is so boring sometimes. These are supposed to be luxurious condominiums. Not a lot of work for someone like me around here, but it's okay. Ugh. Don't tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to. That boy means well, but he. No, no, it's okay. Don't leave the condo much. My son means well, and I know my husband, his father, isn't. He is. I'm doing my best. Oh, that boy means well. Oh, my son means well, and my husband. He died in a mining accident. If Still have Oh, oh my. I'll be sure to put it away into saving. Then he won't have to. How incredibly kind. I'm continuing to learn things about you. You're truly lucky to have a... Well, don't let me stop you then. Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that. But Sidonia is a beacon of industry. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with... Or maybe check with the Demo Staryard corporate... If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking... Well, I've been appointed governor... What? Going on... Every day, I am... I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity. If you ask me, they're... Sidonia's not much of a... But 
If you're not here, beautiful scenery. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience... Enjoy Sidonia. Welcome to the office of the governor. Hello. Oh my, in that case... You're very welcome. It's hard not to worry when you're smart. We got lots of stuff. Cool. Work done That's what we do. Sounds like a plan. Come back anytime. I could use a break. Hey. Yeah. You can make Get a lot of new things right in the mines here on Mars. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. about round three or four was all he would talk about. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems.
Now I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he... You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an... Lower the price. Don't think we can't... Fine. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. Yeah, I'll get your point. Maybe. All right, I'll give up. Just trying to earn a living. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing a song. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. Who around here? Excuse me. Demo Starlands may be the first major ship manufacturer, but that doesn't mean. Got cold beers and good atmosphere. Not much more you could ask for. Mm hmm. Not everyone needs to come to me with witcher poison. engineer could make heads or tails of this chaotic collection of drilling machinery.
suppose it was a bit like building a ship in a bottle. want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... did... did she look okay? Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see the... I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. 
It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the servants. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Entertaining the notion of Xeno warfare angers me to the core. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> You're no hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Lou 
gave me the abridged version of what went down. I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just glad you both came through it intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archive? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Of course, you deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just research. We were military scientists ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno Warfare, a practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince, and hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. 
we grab the data on that satellite and jump away. and other scavengers.
who steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard no longer. Scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest.
as well take what we can.
Next time, use your jetpack.
That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that van. Don't leave any of that behind. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh. 
Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Yeah? You know, that's actually... I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rep. Hope you figure out whatever that... Hey. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the launch. This ship is starting to feel like home. I am at your service, you Captain. Go ahead. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. 
The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, although rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos to occupy me, so don't worry about me. Your father dropped by. He left. Great. Let's see what you have. Stay safe, okay? This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really... You matter too. You've done something really significant. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found, but the first one right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paper. 
Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constant. Take care of yourself. It's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> all right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and... There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomaly. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett and Perk. Let's see what you've got. His mind is... Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his... We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Until later.
There's just... So I cannot wait to meet him. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you... Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's rough country, spawned a lot of stories, and I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and execution. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Yes? Guess you'll be coming with us, huh? It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once! Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? 